Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So today we are going to discuss uh, back channel versus uh, front channel communication in OAuth system that is PF28 part 2. So we'll just try to understand what is exactly this back channel communication and the front channel communication uh, that we are using in OAuth system. Okay, so let's begin. Let's uh, discuss uh, back channel communications uh, versus front channel communication in an OAuth system. So first let's discuss back channel communications. I, as you can see in my screen that like uh, we have resource owner, client, protected resource and the authorization server. So I think you, ha you have now understanding of this terminology in auth. So here you can see the arrow mark I shown here. These are the basically back channel. It says back channel uh, uses direct HTTP connection between components. The browser is not involved. So the communication is happening here between authorization server and the client for the token part and then client basically present that OAuth token to the protected resource so that the protected resource can understand the token and then allow the client to access the resource. So in these two communication browser is not coming. That's why we call it as a back channel communication. So basically in many parts of the OAuth process it uses a normal HTTP request and response format to communicate to each other. Okay, this request and response basically uh, make use of all the regular HTTP mechanisms to communicate that is headers query parameters, methods, and entity bodies can all contain information vital to the transaction. This might be a bit more of the HTTP stack than you are used to as many simple web APIs allow the client uh, developer to pay attention to the response body. The AS here, the authorization server, provides a token endpoint that the client used to request access token and refresh token. Okay, that we have the endpoint defined where client can call and get the access token and refresh token. The client call this endpoint directly. Directly means no browser is not involved. So basically the client calls this endpoint directly presenting a form encoded set of parameters that the AS authorization server passes and process. The authorization server that then responds with the JSON object representing the token. Additionally, when the client comes to the protected resource, it's also making a direct HTTP call in the back channel. The details of the call are entirely dependent on the protected resource as OAuth can be used to protect an extraordinary wide variety of APS and architecture styles. And in all of these, you can see the client basically present an OAuth access token to the protected resource. And the protected, uh, protected resource must be able to understand the token so that it can allow to access the resource. So in this case, this two communication is basically happening through a back channel. Okay, it's a direct call. There is no browser involved when there is a uh, token uh, call happening from the client to the authorization server and then the same when there is HTTP direct call from client to protected resource as you can see in this diagram. So there is no browser involved that's why we told this as a uh, like direct uh, like uh, back channel communication you can say. Okay now let's understand like uh, uh, the front channel. Okay. Front channel communication as you can see you have the client again the same para uh, uh, information you can see in this diagram uh, same same like uh, resource owner client protected resource and the authorization server and here you can see I just made it uh, arrow mark like uh, client to resource owner and then resource owner to authorization server so these are basically the indirect call that is basically there is a intermediary browser in between this uh, two party you can say like uh, between client to resource and the resource owner to authorization server so there is a indirect communication happening here uh, with the web browser so that's why we can say front channel uses HTTP redirect through the web browser no direct connections okay I haven't shown browser in this diagram but yeah browser is there in all this picture so now let's understand this so if we can say in the normal HTTP communication as we saw in the previous section of like uh, uh, back channel communication that is a direct call uh, the HTTP client sends a request that contains headers query parameters and entity body and other pieces of information directly to a server. The server can then look at those pieces of information and figure out how to respond to the request using an HTTP response contain, containing headers. An entity body and other pieces of information, however in OAuth there are several instances in which two components cannot make direct requests and responses to each other such as when the client interacts with the authorization endpoint of the authorization server. Okay, that's a first call like when client basically sends a request to the authorization server talking about that okay for the authentication part 
front channel communication is a method of using http request to communicate indirectly between two system through an intermediary web browser as you can see in this diagram this technique isolates the session on either side of the browser which allows it to work across different security domains for instance if user needs to authenticate to one of the components they can do so without exposing their credentials to the other system we can keep information separate and still communicate in the presence of user okay and the front channel communication works by attaching parameters to a url and indicate indicating that the browser should follow that url for example in this case if clients uh, in the first call if you uh, remember we discussed a little bit not much we can discuss definitely more on our auth code flow uh, auth code grand flow but in this like there is a first call that is a basically http uh, get call so in that uh, or you can say it's a redirect http redirect call so in that basic client sends an authorization request to the as in that there basic we are attaching uh, parameters in the url itself okay so basically like uh, uh, for example if i need to add something like the if i need to pass something like client id scope redirect url so i'm attaching that parameters to the url and indicating that browser should follow that url that's basically the in, uh, indirect call we can say uh, in this front channel communication then the receiving party then parse the incoming url as fetched by the browser and consume the presented information the receiving party can then respond by redirecting the browser back to a url hosted by the originator using the same method of adding parameters thus the two party are thus communicating with each other indirectly through the use of web browser as an intermediary this means that each front channel request and response is actually a pair of http request and response transactions as you can see in this diagram also right http request and http response and once we read the authorization code flow in that also you can see the client basically needs to, needs to send the user to the authorization end point but is it also needs to communicate certain parts of its request to the as to the authorization server to do this the client sends an http redirect to the browser and the target of this redirect is the several urls with certain fields attached to it as a query parameters like as it talk client id response type code like that so redirect okay http 3.302 302 and then authorization server can pass the incoming url basically client send that request to as then as pass the incoming url just like any other http request and find the information sent from the client in these parameters then the as can interact with the resource owner at this stage and authenticate them by asking for the authorization over a series of http transaction within the browser when it's time to return the auth code to the client because first as will just authorization server will just uh, uh, do an authentication of the resource owner okay and post that it has to generate an auth code and send back to the client then the authorization server sends an http redirect to the browser as well but this time with the client redirect uri as the base okay and then authorization authorization server also includes its own query parameter in the redirect that is something http or whatever the redirect uri or auth callback something then with the query code is equal to something that the the code that uh, authorization server generated and we are just exchanging that code to get an access token okay so when the browser follows this redirect it will be served by the client application in this case through an http request then the client can parse the url parameter from the incoming request in this way the client and the as can pass message back and forth to each other through an intermediary without ever talking to each other directly so basically client and as is not talking directly but there is a, a intermediary that is browser so from browser they are uh, consuming that request whatever coming in the query parameter and then parsing that and then just getting the generating the code like a uh, temporary auth code what we have, what I, what yeah, what, I, what we can understand more in the auth code flow so generated an auth code and then sent along with the uh, just send uh, again a redirect http 302 that is redirect again with the redirect your i address and the that code part okay then we have the second action for the token call that is going through direct that is the back channel communication so these are the two communication happening in auth front channel and back channel communication so yeah and that's where back channel communication more the communication uh, makes the communication more secure that's why uh, in most of the application you can see either you can see the pkce flow or you can see the auth code flow has been used widely okay 
so these are the things and uh, let's jump to the next session if you have any confusion please put in the comment section and we are jumping to the next section okay thank you